Hi and welcome to tutorial 6. In PowerShell you need to use the help system. You need to use it and you need to know how to use it. We are going to use it in almost every tutorial and we are also going to have dedicated tutorials on the help system itself. To be honest, in my opinion, you're not going to get far in PowerShell without it. Most of us are probably using PowerShell version 3 and 4 and they do not come with the help system. When you ask for help, you are going to get a minimum of information. You don't need to know all these commands right now, it's only to prove a point. But let's say you want uh, help here on the command let get service. It's showing you a little bit of information, but not really that much. And let's try one more. Get help, let's see, uh, convert to HTML. Still, really not that much. It's uh, not really going to show you anything. And one of the things you are going to use a lot is examples, especially in the beginning. So if I just wanted examples here, we don't get anything. But at the bottom here, it gives you some uh, good information. You can use the update help. You can use the command here, just like we did with the online. And you can go to the URL for Microsoft.com and find information you are looking at. If we use the help convert to HTML online, what's going to happen here is that the internet is uh, going to open and we get the information we want. That's um, everything, including examples, if we scroll all the way to the bottom here. Nothing wrong with that. But we want that information right in our PowerShell and Microsoft updates the help system once in a while so it's not a one-time occurrence and you should update the PowerShell help system frequently but right now we are going to update help so that you can use this inside PowerShell to do so you need to be an administrator look at the top left here it says administrator otherwise you're going to get an error as administrator, just type at the command line the following update dash help and uh, things start happening. Now there is much more to it and we will get into that but for now it's just important that you have an updated help system so you can work much more efficiently and every time we go through a new tutorial use the help system to get even more detailed information and explore the examples so uh, PowerShell now has an updated help system so if we type get help get service we're going to see here that we have um, examples, details, and full. So we don't need to just use uh, get service anymore. We can um, get help, get service, and if we um, use full here, we're going to get a lot of information here. I'm just going to let it scroll down the screen here. And uh, with the examples, let's uh, use uh, get help convert to HTML example. And you see here we have examples that we can use and uh, try. So that's it for now and the first thing you should do now is just 
update your help system.